Hello fellow gamers, Uno Gamer Guy here, and today I am going to be walking you through how to mod the game Seven Days to Die for uh, the Darkness Falls mod. So let's get right into it. So open up your Steam and uh, go to your library tab, and uh, we're going to right click on your Seven Days to Die game. Scroll down to where it says uh, manage and uh, click on browse local files. What this is going to do, it's going to take us to where your base main vanilla game of seven days to die is. And we don't want to mod that. So we're going to make a copy of it so we could drop the seven days to die darkness falls mod into it. And that way you'll be able to play both versions. So this is where it uh, where it's located. And we're going to go back one to where it says common. And this is the main file that you're going to copy. So uh, go ahead and uh, hit right click. Go down to where it says copy. And now it's just up to you where you want to put the game itself. I just go back to the main game directory. And just to walk you through it, where we were was in the Steam library, which is still highlighted. Steam apps and common. And there's the game that we just copied. So just to double check, we'll do another right click and a copy. Go back to the main drive directory and we're going to right click and hit paste. And this is going to copy and make a complete copy of the seven days to die vanilla game we're going to leave the other one in the steam folder in the steam library right here we're going to leave that one alone so if you want to play vanilla seven days to die you're going to launch it through steam if you want to play darkness falls uh, we're going to create a shortcut for that to put on your desktop and uh, that's the one that you're going to be uh, launching from for darkness falls so this way you could play either one of them which is cool so while that is unpacking you will uh, need to actually download the darkness falls mod itself so uh, hop on to the internet google whatever you like to use and uh, just type in seven days to die darkness falls and uh, i would highly recommend you joining the darkness falls uh, discord channel there's a lot of great updates and uh, a great community for getting information for the game itself in case you're having any issues with it and such it's uh it's it's really good so now that that is done copying uh we're going to uh, yes we're going to right click and we're going to rename it I'm just going to put a big capital DF in there. If I can spell it right. Again. And then I'm going to put in a 20.7, which is the current version of the vanilla game of Darkness Falls. Now that that is done, uh, once you had downloaded the, uh, the mod for Darkness Falls, this is the zip file for it. And all you're going to do is right click and hit extract all and you're going to get this folder now i want to make this absolutely 100 percent clear this is not the folder that you right click and copy and paste into your newly uh, copied vanilla game you need to double click into it once and this is the mods folder that you're going to right click and copy because if you double click into it again, now you're going to see all the actual data itself. So if you just click the main folder that was unpacked, it will not work. I repeat, it will not work. You need to double click into the mods folder first. So just to recap on that, when you download the mod from, from the website, you're going to get this zip folder. When you right click and extract all, you're going to get this mods folder. It's not zipped anymore, but you do need to double click in this mods folder once in order to get the correct one to, to copy and paste. So let's go ahead and 
copy it. We'll go back to our Darkness Falls newly copied one with the DF in it. Double click in there and anywhere in the white, right click and hit paste. Now that's going to go ahead and it's going to copy that mods folder in there. And once that is complete, this is going to be the icon that we use to launch it. The top seven days to die with the little icon on it. Do not use the EAC one and uh, don't use the launcher. And that is almost finished, which it is. So at this point, what you can do is right click on it, go down to send to, and you hit desktop. And then what we can do is right click and rename this to DF. Now, uh, we double click and our wonderful darkness falls is here. What bammers enjoy everyone. Thank you so much for checking out my channel once again please hit that like and subscribe button and i will see you out there in the zombie land take care thanks